What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Having a Beer Bams. Today we're going to be drinking Morticia. It is an oak aged imperial stout that was brewed with milk sugar and conditioned on vanilla and caramel flavorings. This is coming to you from Barrier Brewing out of New York. Um, it's coming in about 10.1%. I picked up a four pack down at Sparrow Wine and Liquors in uh, Hoboken. Um, I'm about a little bit more than two, I'm sorry, a little bit more than one and three quarters of a beer into the four pack right now. So I might sound a little ridiculous. But um, from what I had, it's actually a really good beer. I do enjoy, I, like I said, I do enjoy stouts. Stouts are probably my, uh, one of my favorite beers of, all, uh, of any beer to have. I do enjoy the dark beers. Um, so let's not waste any time and crack this song bitch open. And I'll tell you a little story. As I'm doing this, um, I noticed that I noticed the label at first at Sparrow Wine and Liquors, which it was, it's a pretty interesting label. It's got a hand drawn uh, kind of, well, Morticia. So not zombie like, but almost like, uh, I guess, um, Bride of Frankenstein, maybe. I guess that you'd call it. She has a pair of scissors in her hands, but that's not what caught my attention. What was really funny is, I got bringing a prop, is that um, I noticed that you see the gold on the label and trust me, knife. So, you know, I like to put my labels on the wall for a new beer I never had before. And when I peeled the label back, I was surprised to see that barrier might be pulling a little flim flam on me. I'm sorry, this can's getting a little dented while I do this. Let me fix that. But underneath is the axle, the label for. What is this? The money in the Impale Ale. So I'm, I'm going to guess that Barry might have ran out of cans <laughs> and they had to use cans that they already had uh, in hand. To finish, uh, you know, uh, putting this product in cans so they can actually get it out to the market, which is hilarious. I thought it was funny that I'm drinking a, can, uh, I'm drinking a, a beer that is for an Imperial Stout and underneath is a can for an IPA. Which is really hilarious. <laughs> well, to me, it was hilarious. I don't know if you guys find it funny. But listen, I thought I was getting a little flim flam going on right there from Barrett Brewing. But I understand. You know, in the last, what, year and a half? almost Yeah, about a year and a half. It, uh, there's been a lot of shit going on. So it's been hard to do a lot of things that we've normally been doing. So I, understand, I would understand why they ran out of uh, materials to, you know, package up product. So, with all my rambling out of the way, cheers, you silly bastards. Like I said, um, this is probably going to be my third one for the night of this beer. Like I said, I, I'm a majority of the beers I've been trying to buy are usually singles. I don't try to buy four packs. If I find a beer I like, I will buy the four pack because if I enjoy it, I will keep on drinking it. But for the purpose of these videos that I make, I try to buy singles because it's just more cost effective for poor people. I don't have money to be wasting on freaking uh, a lot of beer. So I try to keep what I do. I have a slush fund for, you know, my monthly slush fund that I can actually spend on fun activities that you can... Uh, Maybe write off on taxes if you really wanted to, but it, it, I call it a slush fund. It's just uh, the money I put aside to have a good time. And buying single beers is what I do to make these videos uh, for you, if you enjoy them. If you don't, hey, there's a lot of videos out there you can enjoy. So I really, you know, I really have nothing. To, I, I can't help it. So anyway, um, this is a really good beer. You can taste a lot of the vanilla. You can taste a little bit of the caramel. Um, it's a bit darker. It's it is ten percent, but it's not a lot. Of, it's not a high alcohol. You can't. Um, it's not high alcohol. It actually, you can taste it. It actually is really good. 
Um, if you're if you do enjoy the dark beers like me, you would actually really enjoy this beer. Um, but even if you don't, I would say give it a shot. If you can actually find this in the single uh, a single beer, pick it up and see if you like it. You actually might enjoy this beer. So um, yeah, I mean, I I would actually. I, <clears throat> Like I said, uh, I picked it up because of the label. I really do enjoy the label. I have a wall just filled of beer labels of the beers I've been drinking over the last... We've been here two... Year and seven months. So as long as we've been in this studio, I've been covering the, the, the wall over there with just labels of beer, new beers that I actually had. There's some labels over there for beers I haven't made videos of, and I will hopefully get to those... I will get them back in so I can actually make videos. Um, Backward Flags, uh, Backward Flags, uh, based out of Forker River. I want to get those guys on here again. I love their beer. Uh, I love what they're doing down there. Um, so I really want to get those guys back. I, I really want to get those guys into an episode for you know the purposes of YouTube. <clears throat> and like uh, also uh, most of the vid all the videos from now on are going to be posted on YouTube. They're not, I'm not going to put the videos on the Instagram no more because they, uh, we do get love on YouTube and we do, re, I do appreciate the love. We do appreciate the love. Um, but it seems like they probably do a lot better on just straight off of YouTube and just linking everything back to our YouTube channel, which if you're not a member, join, please. Uh, I'm not going to say like and subscribe, but if you do enjoy these stupid videos, go on there, just watch the videos, subscribe and uh, Man, he's giving me the thumbs up because he's always telling me to say like and subscribe for these freaking stupid videos. <laughs> but yeah, I get like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, listen, go on and give me the thumb down. I don't really care. As long as I get a view, that's all I give a shit. I mean, honestly, that's all I care about. So <laughs> as long as people are watching them and people are seeing the beers and people can get new beers in their life. That's all I'm trying to do here. That's it. So, with all that said, I'm going to conclude this episode of Henry Rear Bams. And I always remember, all beer is good beer. Cheers.